Oh, hi. My name is Diane Flax, and I am very grateful to TO Live for inviting me to do a little piece for you from my living room to yours. And I, I, it's, I'm especially grateful because doing this makes me do a little bit less of this. This is a piece um, from a new play that I'm writing called Guilt. And this is an excerpt that I've adapted for us right now. Thank you for watching. Hello, welcome to Yoga with Sasha in the pandemic on Zoom. All right, let's all come into the moment. Let's all just be in the moment together. Is everyone in the moment? I see you. Deirdre from Burlington. Are you in the moment? Yes? Are you in the mo- Shh! No talking in yoga. Just going to mute you now. Ha 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 ha. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I have been mindfully eating a lot of raisins lately, chewing, chewing consciously, manifesting abundance. And I would start to think about all those people who told my ex and I that all we had to do was have a date night once a week and how I wanted to push them, not to punch, to push. And how I wanted to have a therapist who would come to our house and who would give me drugs and I would forget to chew my raisins. And I have discovered if you swallow too many raisins, you get the runs, which is one way to exercise your flabby pelvic floor muscles, but does nothing for your relationship. And exhale. My ex and I met at Carabana. You know, I don't see race like you, Malcolm. I don't know what race you are, if Irish even is a race. I was there with my Asian friend Danielle and Black Tanya and we were waving our arms in the air like we just don't care. And all of a sudden I noticed this gentleman circling us, a white man, circling the police officer, circling Black Tanya and somewhere in the takedown we kissed. <laughs> and the rest is tragedy. I want you all to think about what your intention is for this practice today. Inhale light and love and exhale negativity. Ooh, the last meal I had in a restaurant before this self-isolation was a date. It was a Wednesday. And I was accused of asking too many questions, which one does, to fill the silence instead of blurting, you have dandruff cascading down into your penne puttanesca. And speaking of puttanescas, let's send a positive thought to my ex's new girlfriend or anyone else who has wronged you. Let's go into pigeon. Let's go into pigeon. Go into plank. Very good. Now, squeeze your buttocks and squeeze your pelvic floor and squeeze your abdominals and squeeze your shoulders and squeeze your thorax and relax. Now, please take your kneecap and twist it around and then Plunk your pubic bone into your heel painfully. Some of you may fart. It's okay. We're all letting things go in the pandemic. I've let go reading books or talking to my parents. But I'm not letting go of chocolate almonds. Ha, uh, ha, uh, ha. Uh. Oh, oh, so sorry. Here we are. I'll just come around and explain what we're doing next. Where was I? Oh yes, my ex's new girlfriend, Victoria is her name. And she bought our daughter a Wii U, even though I said no and that we couldn't afford it. So I called Victoria four times in the middle of the night and then I told my ex that I spotted her not self-isolating with someone else. Oh, and you can let go of pigeon. And exhale. Hmm. I wonder if they're going to have a baby. 